today's video we're going to be checking out kind of a weird off-brand camera in my opinion. This is the Magnavox CVR610 AV01. <laughs> it doesn't actually say the uh, the model of it anywhere on the camcorder, so I actually had to look it up on uh, on the internet. So this camera is from 1993 and it takes VHS C tapes. And a lot of these older camcorders back then especially VHS and VHS-C, they didn't have internal menus on them yet. All of the features that you'll see and that we talk about are displayed around the camera. External features. I will have this camcorder up on my eBay store, so if you want to go and snag it for yourself, it'll be up for sale on there by the time you see this video. So it has a lovely little lens cap that is strapped to it. I do believe that the lens threads on it are a 49 millimeter. So if you want any kind of lens lens adapter or like a wide angle or fisheye, that is the size that you would need. It does have a 10 times optical zoom on it. It does have a manual focus ring on it, which is really nice, allowing you to uh, focus in on your subject. It does have a mono microphone on it along with a external mic plug-in for it, which in my opinion doesn't really make any sense because if you have an external mic, um, you gotta have somewhere to mount it. So the only way that I would see it working for that is if you had one of those uh, filming handles, the ones that screw into the bottom of the camera and then it loops up to the top and they have like cold shoes and stuff like that up there. So not really useful unless you have some kind of a rig like that. On the left side of the camcorder, you got a fade button, you have a black light button, you have a backlight button, you got your date and time, your white balance, which you can uh, toggle between auto, tungsten, and daylight. So you got two manual options and then you got your auto option. You have your HS shutter. I think it goes all the way up to like 10,000, which I will showcase to you in the example footage at the end of this video. You also have your manual focus button. Uh, you can turn it on and off along with your counter. Um, so this is, uh, I think it's your, uh, your not your timestamp, but it shows you uh, how long you've been recording for. And then it's uh, the R is your reset, and then your uh, your manual settings for the, the counter as well. As well, you have the power switch, which if you go up with it, you got VCR. Um, in the middle is power, and then camera, which is, it's the more manual mode of it. And then you can go to uh, auto lock, which is just auto mode. So if you have it in auto mode, you can't adjust the, the focus. Um, the manual focus, the, the white balance, and all that. It's just, everything's auto. You hurry and turn it on, you can film, turn it off. You have your eject um, button right there for your, uh, your your tape deck. Now you might be seeing the, uh, the viewfinder here on top and being like, why the heck is it up there? Well, what it does is you pull it down and then you can adjust it, which is weird because it goes like all the way down and like all the way up. So it's like got a, it's almost got a 180 degree uh, radius on it. On the tape deck as well, it has a little button right here that says push to lock. So when you uh, when you open the tape deck and you uh, you put your tape in or whatever, or if you take it out, it won't actually close and like latch shut unless you push that uh, push to lock button on the, the tape deck door. It's the first time I've ever seen that. I've seen it in um, a lot of cameras, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to push that button to actually lock it. So on this camera it does. Now let's talk about the uh, the viewfinder here for a second. Um, so it is a black and white viewfinder. The the, the eye cup is focusable to uh, to your eye. Um, what's actually kind of cool is it it kind of uh, it pops out like that and so when it's pushed in it kind of just looks like a little itty bitty screen. So I don't know if they designed it this way but you can definitely use it this way. So when you have it pushed in with the little screen, you can kind of use it as a uh, as like a like an LCD screen, so you can hold your face away from it and see what you're recording. And then if you need to, you know, use it as a viewfinder, you can pull it out and it magnifies it, and then you can put your eye up to it and see uh, what you're recording as well. A cool innovation because it didn't have a it doesn't have a uh, flip out LCD screen for it. And another thing that's really cool about it is when I got this camcorder, it comes with the well, it's not original, but it comes with an old school Radio Shack battery for it, and it still works. It still takes a charge. 
So that's actually really crazy. And it's one of the, uh, it actually indicates, one side is for Sony and Sharp, and you flip it over for this side, and it's JVC and Panasonic, which is also Magnavox, I guess. Uh, this this kind of reminds me of a, um, a, a Panasonic uh, camcorder, to be honest. Like, a, if you look up the uh, the Panasonic PV42, I think I have a video of it on my channel. I'll leave a link to it. Super old video, but it kind of has a similar body style to this as well. Along the top here, you got your uh, playback functions and your uh, audio and video dubbing, along with your zoom rocker. And this camcorder zooms pretty slow. Um, you have your um, the speed of the tape, so you have your... Uh, SP and uh, SLP, um, so short play and long play. And then you also have, um, I was looking at this on the internet and I can't find what it actually does or what it means. You have your uh, TR, which you have a 20, 30, and a 40 set. And I don't know what that means. So if anybody out there actually knows what TR uh, 20, 30, or 40, actually is let me know in the comments because I don't know I think it has something to do with the tape because some tapes will have a 20 a 30 or a 40 on it for VHSC you also have your which is kind of a small weird uh, record button here on the back it's very small but it also has this little um, switch that covers the record button so then you actually can't push it so it's like a it's like a, a lock feature so that you don't accidentally hit record and start recording. You have a, a DC in, which is a six volt. And the last button feature for this camcorder, you have your clock set. So you have a select and you have set right here on the bottom. And then there's this little tab that you can pop open and that is your audio video app. So this camcorder is mono. Yeah, that is all of the, uh, the features for this camcorder. Like I said, it doesn't have a menu. So everything that it can do is displayed on the outside of the camcorder. So yeah, kind of a goofy looking camcorder. It also came with a hard case. It comes with the original charger and a Magnavox uh, neck strap for it. So yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for the Magnavox Easy Cam. I'm not gonna say the name because it's just ridiculously long. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this here whopping 10 times optical zoom. I'll show you how fast it zooms too. Not bad. It zooms in decently fast, faster than the uh, Panasonic PV420. But this camera also does not actually have any form of stabilization. So this is why the footage is very shaky. Okay, so here is the backlight setting. You can see that it kind of amplifies the brightness of things in the distance. This is off. This is on. It's nice for uh, indoor shooting. So I'll go ahead and show you the white balance options. So it's on auto right now. This is daylight. And you have tungsten, which is more blue for indoor shooting. It doesn't look great out here. And you got auto. I'll show you the uh, different shutter speeds as well. So you got 1 in 60, 1 in 100, 1 in 250, 1 in 500, 1 in 1,000, 1 in 2,000, 1 in 4,000. And one in 10,000. And back to auto. Apologies about Jack, he's uh, he's being crazy over there.